Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to my tutorial video. Uh, my name is Benton and today I'm going to talk you and walk you through um, the CSS positioning. So what we have is relative black, rel relative uh, static, uh, absolute and fixed. Let's uh, put that in. I went ahead and made a nice little um, HTML sheet that allows you to see it, all of them as you can see here. So what we have is we have static, the first one, and static is simply um, the default of the positionings, and it, it simply looks at the page flow or the way the HTML is written and where it is within that HTML um, content and position itself within that. So if you have, you know, paragraph, 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 one of those paragraphs is it's simply looking at, um, you know, one after the next after the next, so it's sort of in that that cascading order. Uh, the next one we have is relative. Relative is a little more difficult but it's it works just like it sounds. Its location is relative or depending on the location of those elements before and after it. This attribute allows um, it to work much like the static um, attribute except it uses top, right, left, and bottom properties and shifts the element in the opposite direction. So this means in respect to the corresponding element, if you move it right 30 pixels, uh, the if you put right 30 pixels, it'll actually move left. And we can go ahead and try that now. So we have relative right here, and we just gonna ahead, go ahead and put um, right, or actually we can't do that because there's nothing on each side of it, as you can see here. It's just top and bottom. So we'll put top 30 pixels and you can see how it moves down in accordance to where the static is and we could actually do the same for the static and nothing happens and this is because that's the main difference between relative and positioning relative and static positioning uh, relative uses those top left right bottom attributes and static does not but they are both um, they are both com they both have to use uh, or they do use the page flow so the way they work within the, the HTML content. Now we can move on to absolute and fixed. These are um, a little more difficult um, positionings. Absolute is something you should never really use unless you know how to use it but it is a great cheat if you get in a bind and need to position something that you can't figure out and it's due on an assignment or something. So position, absolute positioning is in relation to the page itself so you can think of it as x y coordinates only it's left right top bottom coordinates so you can actually do top 40 400 pixels 300 pixels or let's go ahead and move that to two and two and this just makes brings it in the page and what's interesting about this is it takes it out of the page flow so the box is um, either in front or behind the content and it stays right there so if you have a big paragraph on in front of it it'll, the paragraph will stay there but because it, the absolute box is out of the page flow um, it will be just stuck there you can also use percentages so let's do like 50 percent and 50 percent now this is interesting because it's actually looking at the size of the page and scrolls with the page um, in relation to a percentage, percentage. So let's go ahead and take that back and you can see what happens when we don't do percentages. It's just stuck there like a big glob. So now we go into fixed and fixed is just like absolute except the way it works is it's in re relation to the browser window itself. Um, as you can see, we have it just stuck right on the bottom, and when I scroll, it comes with it. And if I were to go left and right, it would it would also come with it. So we can go ahead and move that to 100, and I don't know, probably just four. So you can see, it just stays there. This is really common in sites like um, Facebook, the way they have that top navigation that just sticks to it. Um, I don't think you can do anything with this percentage wise. Let's check it out real quick. Yeah, see that breaks it. You can't, so definitely don't use percentage on that. But so I hope that that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. My name is Benton and go ahead and shoot me a holler with the next tutorial video idea and I'll make one just for you. Thank you.